Greetings and welcome. This is Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you're doing well. Well, it's been a few days. All right, so before we get started, I am starting this recording right at the beginning of my session. And I have now caught myself off guard because I, I need to see the disclaimer info. <laughs> so this is real. I decided, or not, sorry, I did not decide. I was instructed um, not to look further than the slide you're seeing now. Um, and the only other information I have, her name is Sophie, a French woman who was murdered in Ireland. On December the 23rd, 1996. Now, kind of smacks of a similarity with the journalist that was murdered in the UK. Um, and I'm just getting her details now. Eight. Um, eight. Um, Sorry, this is raw and live. Jill Dundo, um, who was also shot outside her home. Now, I do recall hearing about this case. Um, I may, have, I think, I believe I watched the Netflix docky. There's a Netflix docky, and I am familiar with the case, but I, I watched it years ago. Um, not with the same mindset that I have currently. Uh, my previous days, I was full hardcore TV land and film land um, with a competitive advantage of having a bit of insight. <laughs> um, I would also like to thank Deirdre, uh, who suggested the case. Thank you so much who is from Ireland. So I'm going to look at the case today. And Deirdre, as I was going to go into reading more of your email, Spirit Stop Me. So we're going for a clean read uh, based on as I draw out the number. So now I'll try to give you the slides as I go in the kind of a time, not the full slide. Uh, straight away. So let's go. So far, I've got December 23rd, 1996. We're going to treat this as a live read. So no more than 45 minutes. Let's go. The clock is ticking. All right. So what can I say about the day so far? The December 23rd, you know, there's so many cases when they happen in December, give me the creeps. So must be honest. You know, the, um, oh gosh, I should keep my shows open when I'm doing shows. Yes, yeah, she's right here. John Bonet. I'm getting tested by spirit here all of a sudden because I was actually working on the book. And by the way, the book's coming on very well. Um, I've been putting in serious hours while not creating content, as it were. But during that process, I was told, stop. I've been like asking, when can I do a show? <laughs> so, so we've got uh, 34. And I guess I got answered this afternoon. All right, so I'm just pulling out 16 the previous day, and I will come back to some highlights for December 23rd. I don't necessarily like to look too much on the day first, although December the 12th, 3 is problematic for me. Um, because it's supposed to be about a time in the human brain for unwinding and relaxing, right? December time, it's close for most people. It's holiday time, um, time to unwind. Uh, you're at home, you, you should be feeling safe, secure. Um, 
and then you have a heinous thing happen on during Christmas time, uh, like poor young six-year-old John Bonet, and in this case Sophie, Sophie. Um, that's why for me it's unsettling. And twelve three does speak about control issues. You know, some people, I don't know, these people that think they can control others. Um, all right, so I'm just, these are quite large numbers. 30, 41, 41, 5. Sorry, let me just finish this. Um, and then 14, 5. There's a lot going on here. There's definitely a lot going on here. Stacks of numbers. Um, I saw something now as the save window popped up here. So just give me one second. OCD elements. Well, let's just say, let's just get this out of the way so I don't ever have to worry about it again because I constantly save during a reading. And um, if it doesn't get saved um, and I do all the work, then we've lost all of that work. Um, oh, Sophie. All right. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Full attention, everything set up properly. Spirit wants me to do a live read on this. Um, so December the 23rd, we have the 23-5. We have the 12-3. I mean, the 23-5 is coming together for a little party, groups, community. You know, you have the build-up to the main um, day on the 25th, however people do it. Uh, but you would see other family, maybe friends, friends leaving to go on vacation. You quickly go see them. So it's a build up. Um, 1996, 25, 7. So let's put in here. Now you will see this template in the book. Um, and it says here context. So I'm just putting here. Sophie was murdered outside her home. So that's what that's the premise. Okay. The most alarming number, and we'll get back to the twenty five seven because Technically, no. In a situation like this, um, I'm not necessarily doing a profile on someone's date of birth, but I'm doing a murder scene, a murder event, where more than one thing is happening simultaneously because there's two people involved, the murderer, in this case, Sophie. The nature of the event, murder, Outside her home, right there by her home. So we get a sense of what we need to look out for um, when trying to break down a case. Um, I can put Sophie there now as well. <laughs> I was going to stop to do all the nitty gritties, but I, um, I know our time is precious. So we're going to keep it to 45 minutes max. All right, let's go, let's go. I worked at a psychic hotline before. And the benefits, there's other pros and cons, but the benefit was speeding up my process, being under time pressure because someone buys five minutes, someone buys 10 minutes, someone buys 20 minutes. So it helped me speed up my process. All right, so here we go. Big alarming number for me, the number 606. Big problem for me. Then we also have the 426. So that's that 426 for me also speaks to motive. 
It, uh, and the reason why I say that, I'm going to make it an orange. And the reason why I say that it, it's, uh, if you take it directly, there's been a reduction of half. So it almost feels like she's been taken out. Do you know what I mean? Um, like she's part of a group and she's been minimized. Or she's part of something. And the six, you see now we're combining numbers and meanings. When you have a six, there's a certain familiarity around. And when we have that 15, six, now we'll go deeper because like I say, not every number, we need to see the buildup and even depending on the situation, what happens after the event, okay? Um, but there's something there's something going on in the background here. I know that might seem obvious. So let's say with that comment, let's say this was not random. So this wasn't uh, Mr. Get Lucky. This was, there is a level of premeditation here, I would say. And we'll go deeper to get, because we need confirmation, right? So this is, I'm getting a sense of, but we have to get confirmation. We have to, have to. That's why even the post, the event, will have the reflection of what happened on this evening. So that's 66 zero, thinking about time now, six zero with an outcome six, from there onwards down. That is, in fact, let me put in, sorry, my phone's going mad. We are getting back up and running. By next week, we are full swing. Um, So from 60, the 60, 42, 15, 6 all happened oh, like from sunset onwards. I'm just going to put a line there now. So I'm going to put a line with an arrow pointing down. That's now what I'm, what I'm saying is this is where we need to focus mainly when we come around. We're going to come back around to you. But I'm just pointing out that in this case, the time will be significant, I believe. Um, all right, so there we go. All right, watching time. Um, I must just pe press pause quickly. That was all of like 10 seconds. Um, there's equipment being moved around. All right, so getting back to the drawing board. So from the number 6060 on December 23, arrow pointing down is where we're going to be uh, looking. F um, that's when it happened, right? Now the 156, there's a familiarity. It's an older male. Um, I forget how old she was now, but the 15-6 indicates older male. And this is what I say, when we start combining these numbers with the 6 outcome and the 15-6, this male would have been familiar to Sophie. And the outcome six is the murder, unfortunately. Six is also murder. So tragic outcome here, unfortunately. So we know what the outcome is. We need to identify the perpetrator, uh, possibly also why, what's the motive. 
because that 42.6 is telling me that it's a reduction of something. So she was either in on something or part of something um, where she's been eliminated from. Um, Uh, yeah, you see December 21 has the warning bell for me, December 21. Uh, there's that 33.6 in the day, and, and coincidentally it lines up with 15.6. Um, I've noticed in, uh, in, uh, in recent readings, that 33.6, now let me tell you something about a 33.6, right? I'm actually a power number 33.6 in my date of birth. 33.6 people are catalysts, they are creators, they get things going, they start things, build things, uh, get things going. In my TV life, I used to uh, set up channels, terrestrial channels, like full staff, complement, admin level, production level, post level, production level. That's what I used to do. Um, uh, I, I prefer dealing with big things. <laughs> so, however, now you can imagine 33.6 being creation, if you like, creating things, creating things, ideas, and for communities, the threes speak about communities, for humanity, six. Now that's positive, right? Now the the opposite, when that card is turned upside down, 33.6. Here we're talking about destruction of life. Bringing an end to life, like this is intent. So again, another marker for premeditation. I'm going to highlight it in orange. So this was definitely planned, had knowledge of Sophie, and of course knew where she lived, and was familiar to her. That's what I'm seeing so far. The other concerning number on the December 21, a uh, bigger part of that would be on... Uh, bigger part in December 22. The 14 5 is problematic for me in a murder situation. Now, the 14 5 is the group, the, the small knit group. Um, I would imagine in this case a bit of a clandestine group. But it's people in the know. And these are the people that are causing the trouble, whoever this group of people are. Um, we'll go deeper. I don't. Um, I will do a final summary. But you know, when you start seeing the usual suspects on the scene, um, you uh, start getting a sense of what is happening. And of course, we need to remain as. Um, objective as possible and meditate on the sequences of events here. Um, yeah, we got we got serious male energy on December 21, the 40 for outcome 404. 40. That's male. That's male on definitely on the senior, obviously. And there's big male issues. There, there could have been, and we'll go deeper, there could have been, you know, we've got some nasty numbers on this day here as well. Uh, the 15-6 is problematic because that's that familiar old male. So there's already problems. He may have come, he may have tried to get hold of her year even, eh? December 21. Because we've got the 33.6, the 15.6 is definitely on the scene. The 13.4. Now, fours, let me just say, and this was quite um, drilled into my head during the disease uh, sick years. Now, four 
is about boundaries and borders and restrictions. So there may have been a situation here on December 21. So December 21 would, would stand out as a clue day because I believe there may have been an attempt here, but because of whatever reason, he couldn't access what he wanted. So he couldn't get onto the property or whatever the situation may have been. Which could lead then, obviously, the 40-0, him going, getting upset because he didn't accomplish his mission. So December 22, going on the flow, 22-4 is making of a plan. 16-7 is going to try again of a serial nature, keeps doing it again, so he's going to try again. And this is what I'm saying, when you get that 14-5, these are bastards, okay? These, this, you know, in a male, and please don't assume this is in your chart. There, there's a lot, um, there's, there's different levels of, from left to right, intensity of, of what can happen with just the one number, 14-5. So in this case, we know there's a negative outcome. The, the worst outcome ever, a woman is murdered. So, the negative at full scale can be um, at play here. And that 14.5 speaks about uh, males with issues. The arseholes. And he couldn't let it go because I, I definitely believe December 21. The 21.3, the famous uh, usual suspect on a crime scene, all about abduction, kidnapping, taken against your will. Not so much kidnapping, because there's ransom involved, but 21-3 is against your will. Um, really maniacal prick. And with the 12-3 already on the play, you got all these threes, all about control, control issues. 15-6 male perverted penis issues. 44 at the end of uh, December 21 probably couldn't complete the deal. So he has a little fit at home. But he's a thinker. 22-4. He's coming back. 14-5 is back in play there. 59. 34-7, in my opinion, is with malicious intent. 34-7. I'm going to go orange here. Because that's also taking of a life. 34-7. 33.6 is like murder, is like raw murder. 34.7 is like the serial killer, uh, he plots, he plans. 16.7 is like a serial killer. So that's what I'm saying. 22.4 is the plans. I've been noticing 22.4 in play lately as well. That's all. This is another key marker. I'm going to highlight it actually. Key marker. Premeditation, 22-4. So we finish that down to 14-5. This is our soul now. So the next day, 23-5 on a negative. That's why I try to be positive with numbers as well. If, if there's an opportunity to express positive... 23.5 is a very positive number. It's about building communities. It's coming together. Uh, it's even perhaps what I said in the beginning. I'm just remembering the um, small groups coming together for parties. It's community building. It's a fun thing. Do you know what I mean? But some idiots, and this is that's why I say not all fives are bad, but when someone makes a five bad, or they go to the negative aspect of a five. That's not a very nice number to start the day with if it's in the negative. And, and we already know that he's in a bit of a state. He had an outburst with a 44-0. That's a male outburst.
Another troublesome number, unfortunately, very popular at crime scenes, 358. Thirty-five eight is the next level of extremity to a human body by the older familiar male and a murder. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to jump through to the next day and let's see if we can identify the perpetrator. But we definitely have some clues familiar. We'll, we'll see soon how familiar. And unfortunately, I believe very familiar. Very familiar. We have the 24-6. I'm going to orange tag it. Um, very familiar. This is of a family friend nature. Uh, we have the 36-9, not a nice number, unfortunately. So we've got a murder, 18-9 is a murder, by the way. Now, I hear someone asking, was this of a hit nature? So the 18-9... Is definitely the murder. The 25-7, and that's why I, I believe I had a, a, a overse reaction to 25-7 on a crime scene or at a crime scene, because that also hints to premeditation. That is that is definitely premeditation. It's not like um, uh Let's say in a, in a spur of a moment, someone pulls out a gun and shoots. No, 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 no. The, this in, that's 25-7 is a planning. And the reason why it's planning is because we have the five. So the two people have an issue. Or at least one of them has an issue, the five. With an outcome seven. With an outcome seven, by the way, Oh, we're in a seven year as well. Justice will will happen. I don't know what the outcome is. I believe there were one or two suspects. Um, but I don't recall if if they stuck or what the story was. 16, 7. I'm being tested by spirit lately, by the way. The solo eclipse video, I resisted. I'm gonna be I, I'll say it. I resisted it because to predict what is going to happen around the world, to a you know, it will only happen at a specific space, you know. Anyway, long story short, I'm being tested. Okay. So 24-6 on December 24. 24-6 familiar without a doubt. 18-9 murder, 25-7 premeditation. 36-9 also speaks about murder, like aggressive murder. And we have all these sevens on this day as well. Let me highlight that. Um, so we, I, I don't believe we have the full picture yet. There's definitely very valid confirmation information like familiarity, definitely. All right. And with all those sevens, the next day, December 24, a great injustice has occurred here. And by the way, we have those triple sevens on December 22. I'm going to highlight them now as well. There's lots of issues here. This is whoever this male is has got some serious, serious, serious issues. Like he is maniacal. It's 
So let's just continue before we make a final. I'm just checking and starting to build the picture. By the third day, which will be the 26th, we'll know the full story. December 24, 25, 26, I'm going to use to compile what took place on December 23rd and who was responsible. Okay. Um, so there, on the 25th, we have that 25-7, oof, in spades, some would say. We have three 25-7s. So, unfortunately, what this tells me, the, the intent of what they did to this person, and here we have another confirmation, more than one person involved. There's a group situation involved here. 19101, I'm just going with it. I'll come back to 257. There's a plot here. This wasn't a random 37. This definitely wasn't a random situation. There's something at play here. You got all these 25 sevens, three of them. That is like fatal. There was no way she was going to escape this, unfortunately. Like, let's say, and, and I'm being serious here, this is our intent, what these guys intended to do was, like, for example, I believe they may have tried on December 21 and for whatever reason couldn't access her, for whatever reason. They, of course, got to her on December the 23rd. But I can tell you now, if, if, if they missed the December 23rd, they would have tried December 24th. Those are those dates there, and that is like, there's no way you're getting past there. Do you know what I mean? Had they missed December 24th, there was no way they were going to get she was going to get past December 25th. There was no way. I know that sounds terrible to sound, but so uh, what are we getting to here? The, the motive, whoever is behind this, definitely, without a doubt, intended for her to die. This person and people and other people involved there's other people involved here. This was an organizational thing. 44.8 in play here. That's problematic for me. 44.8 in the positive is a superpower number. That's maybe the clue as to what's going on. Was she a vocal person? At some point, I'm going to have to check. <laughs> um, or do I just put it out blind? But, uh, you know, we learned, I learned my lesson before. But uh, I'm taking my time on this. To, um, 44.8, you know, it's like the double of 22.4, yes. That's what I'm saying. It's like this is orchestrated from like higher powers here. This could even be government. That level. And I'm actually just checking now for government numbers. No, I'm not seeing government numbers here. There's an organization, yeah, there's a group of people. Um, and with that 3710-1 in play on December 25, that, that's a collective, eh? We've seen that number with the royal family. That's like higher-ups making decisions on behalf of others. Right, we are going to December 26 now. All right, December. 
26. So we got the 26.8. Are you starting to see the usual suspects here? 26.8. We saw it in the... Um, uh, gosh, I know. I, I don't want to say it and then I'm wrong. I just want to make 100% sure. I would have had it wrong. Uh... Sebastian Rogers, 26.8, something is off, something is going to be off about this story already, but we'll get there, uh, 35, Uh, 38, 11, 2, we got the 22, so 26, 8, there, there's an argument, so let's go on that vibe, there's an argument, it involves more than one people, 38, 11, 2, there's law at stake here as well, there's a 22 outcome, yeah, so there's definitely another confirmation of a group scenario, there's a larger group at play, So that we so what do we have here? Sixty-three nine. We'll see if we pick up any psychic uh, imaging or messaging as well. Uh, Forty-five nine. Uh, 50, 50, 60, 36, 9. My brain just tells me I made a mistake. I don't know where I made the mistake. That's why I couldn't carry on. Um, uh, and then we got 27, 9. Oof. See, 27, 9. There's confirmation. Hit, hit. Hit. She may be linked. There may be other murders linked to this person, but of the same situation. So, you know, there's people taking out people. Do you know what I mean? Um, see, this is where context helps. Oh, sorry, background. I've got context, so that's enough. Um, Twenty-seven nine. So thirty-six nine is the murder. You recall we saw that 36-9 on December 24th, so it's around. Murder in the air. Murder in the air. Premeditated. So let's just see. Uh, there, there was definitely some... I would say there's been a communication breakdown between Sophie and someone or a group of people. There's been some communication issue. Could she have known about um, something unlawful happening? Because that 38.11.2 speaks about a knowledge. So 3.8, a knowledge um, of an unlawful nature. That could put a group of 
our souls in jail. So looking leading up to actually let's also include uh, we got a gap open there doesn't hurt to have a look uh, let's add in December 20 uh, 20 just pings on the 20 that we see there on December 26 so we might have some more clues here so we've got the so it would be Yeah, I see you as a problem as well. He has this 14.5. We've got that 32.5 in the brackets, which is about destruction. It's a, it's a very negative. It's a very opposite of uh, 23.5. 23.5 is jovial. Um, 12, 3. Um, 39, 12, 3. All right. Sorry for the silence. So December 20th, we've got that 22 in play, 20 with an outcome 2, uh, with the outcome 14, 5 in the day, so someone's not happy. Gosh, do we need to go further back? I'm getting a sense because the next day would be 19.10.1 or the previous day, 19.10.1. We'd have a 13.4 in play. 19.10.1 would be conversations about murder. 13.4 about death. 11.2 breaking the law. I believe she may have known something here. I think we got it. I think we got it in the picture here. I believe uh, Sophie um, knew something. And was killed for it. And she, and, well, killed, yes. It was a hit by an, a group of people, an organization. And I glimpsed them earlier. Where did they, there they are, hiding away there. 37-10-1. So who's the group here? And I believe the group has something to do with 44.8. So leading up, so definitely male orientated. Um, there's definitely a serial nature involved, Jen, and I've been trying to look and confirm, you know, was this a serial killer that did this? Um, but I don't believe it was a serial killer. This person may have done it before, yes. I don't believe this would have been the person's first time, let's put it that way. But this person certainly knew they would have at least recognized each other face to face. That's how familiar or at least minimum familiar. Of course, it goes relationships go deeper, but she would definitely know this person. And being a 24-6, it's, it's within her periphery. Her immediate periphery and perhaps the second periphery where you would find your um, the friends you hang out with every day or speak to every day, that level of familiarity. There's definitely inside knowledge going on here. And I would say, without a doubt, there's more than one person, and I'll go as far as to say, 
there's more than two people that know what happened to Sophie on December the 23rd, 1996. All right, so this is going to be the second part of the reading. Now, I've just read some information. Um, and what stood out for me was the, uh, there was a journalist, um, Irish journalist, Ian Bailey, who everyone regarded as the person. So I managed to find his date of birth. So I'm just going to have a look. Um, if there are any significant matches. So we've got 10, 17, 22, 4. Oof. So now we've got 28, 10, 1, plus 4, gives us the 32, 5. We spoke about that, 32, 5. It's a terrible number. We've got the 14, 5 here with him as well. Terrible number. And a 5 outcome. Oof. So we definitely got the 14.5 the day before, and we got the 14.5 around December 20th. This guy, was he, sorry, uh, I'm just going to, was he the boyfriend? Was he a boyfriend? Uh, I'm just going to the email, beg your pardon, sorry. Um... Oh, he just happened to live nearby. Uh, oh, so it wasn't a, a lover or boyfriend or anything at the time, just random. So let's just look here. So we got the 14 fives the, literally the night before. We got the 14.5 on December 20th. So he's around. Um, um, let me just make sure that this is his born in Manchester, England, 27 January 1957. So he would have been 36, 39. And she was 39. Uh, so I'm seeing him so far, and I'll keep looking, but I'm seeing him as around. So what I was looking for, I need I need him to ping exactly on when she died, December 23rd or December 24th. Um, I'm not seeing direct pings, so... In the interest of fairness and balance, and I'm just double checking. Uh, all right, so let's let's. I'm going to go with this. Um, I don't believe um, he was involved. Um, Ian Bailey, I don't believe he was involved. He may have been around, bumped into around or whatever, but I don't, I don't see him at the crime scene at all. 
Um, and I beg your pardon, I believe I made an error in the chart. Um, having done that research, blunt force trauma to the head is also can be a six head and six zero. That's blunt force trauma. So I'll just put your head injury. Head injury. So that 35.8 does come into play then. Sorry, head is uh, head, heart, strokes, also six. So definitely head injury, also the 60 zero. Um, so head injury. So I'm going to say based on the preliminary because but I'm, uh, I'm not going to force something on something here but uh, this guy I don't believe Ian was um, he is around in the beginning bigger pardon, leading up to December 23rd I mean he might just be a casual friend or whatever or whatever this, I don't believe it was him he's definitely not he's not on December the 23rd in any shape, way, or form, except for the 23.5, there's a 5. But where his 5 sits and where that 5 sits in the day, it's the start of the day, it's, it's, it's circumstantial. Mm. So then that, so let me just double check the net quickly, if you don't mind, while we're here. So it was, so, let me just see something here. So she got married 1991. 90, uh, so she, 9, 1991. And 1996. So she was still married at the time of her death, huh? And if I recall, she was married to a filmmaker. What did I read here? Gosh, Deirdre, this is a bit of a long read. But I thought, the Spirit kept on telling me to do it raw. It is a process. I read something. Anyway, I just need his name. Who was she married to? Um... Oh, yeah. If it were a snake, it would bite me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also check his date of birth. So he's born on 7 or April 7, 1941. Okay, so I'm going to put Bailey in one of these blocks here. Ian, I don't believe Ian is the guy... <sighs> All right, so let's just see where the husband takes us. Because remember, I'm I'm seeing in what I'm in what I'm reading. Yes, yeah, so so far could be close, um, but definitely not Ian. Ten, one, fifteen. I'm definitely seeing long arms, long reach situation, like the, and I'm getting pinged here, like the show I did of the missing uh, woman out of Spain, um, Anna. Um, where I believe the husband was involved and you don't have to be at the location to sort out what you need to sort out, right? All right, so what do we have here? The husband, April 7, 1941. Uh, all right, so what have we got here? Oof, ooh, ooh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a bingo. We've got a serious bingo. 
17, 8. In the middle of the day, December 23rd, and that's not a phone call. There's, that is like, there's, there's something here. Now, let me tell you about positioning, which I explained in the book. The 17, 8 in the husband's name, like date of birth, beg your pardon. 17, 8, life path 8. That is the ultimate number, right? I mean, of course, all the other numbers play a part. But if you're looking for matches and building a case, like definitely look at this guy. Um, sorry, I'm just grabbing his name. So Ian, all right, so let's carry on. Let me not get too excited, but the 17-8 present, um, um, right at the cusp of being murdered is problematic. Well, let me not be too vigilant. Let's just, let's see if we get anything else. So, we have a fifth, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 15-6 in play. We have a 15-6, which matches, in fact, now I'm going to make it green. So if I'm speaking different colors before, I beg your pardon. We've now included the husband. And he's pinging like a Christmas tree. We got a 15-6. Now, now this, again, talking about position of numbers. Now, you can appreciate the 15-6-6 outcome for where December the 23rd, that, that is a life path outcome number for the day. Very prominent, very influential. And the 15-6 in the year that the husband is born is you can't get more foundational than that. And I'm going to say to you, unfortunately, because there's that 15-6, and I haven't looked at Sophie's date of birth, but because there's a 15-6-6 in his year that he's born, this had karmic fingerprints all over it. I spoke earlier about the 11, 11 twos and sitting in the middle. Now look at December 26. I'm getting excited. How's the short reading going? December 26, 11 two. In the middle of the day on December 26, pings directly on middle of the day husband. Ladies and gentlemen, you can go sell your bingo tickets. We have a winner, in my opinion. Winner, winner, winner. The dirty husband. The dirty husband. We'll go further. Let's, but so far, what have we got? Two, three major pings. Three major pings. Now that 14.5, well, well, I don't know the full depth story. Obviously now, could the husband have flown in, killed her, flown out, or did he get some hack, 14.5, some roughneck in the woods to go do a hit? But I'm sorry to say the husband is pinging on the day. Remember I said it has to ping on the day. 15.6, and we've got a 17.8. He might as well shot the video. Do you know what I mean? That's how close he was to this crime. So December 24, 24, 6, familiarity. That is family level. Murder. 89. And you'll recall, I've been reminded with the missing person's case of Kate Middleton, Catherine Middleton, 
We also noted the 43-7-16-7-7s with the divorce numbers. So, was, was there a divorce on the horizon? And she was going to get some turkey. Okay, we'll go on. But uh, so far, this guy is Father Christmas. The husband is the guy. So let's see the build. Oof. Build up. We have, look there. 15-6 on December 21. 15, 6, December 21, 33, 6, murder, murder. 40, 0, that's the old male testosterone uh, shooting limits there. And there was a divorce on the horizon. Husband at the scene. Now, whether he was there physically is another story, but certainly, see, I've got, I always felt, you know, these octopus situations, long arms into situations, because on December 25, that 37 10 1, there's a collective decision major, and that 10 1 speaks about money. Muchos, muchos money, 10 1. That's like payday. So there we go. 20, December 26, argument 26 8, argument between a couple 11 2, 22, big outburst, emotional outburst, big fighting going on. So, in my opinion, so, okay, let's, let's be thorough. Husband, 15-6, present, December 21, lead up to the situation. We have him 17-8, December 23rd, in the living room as a matter of speaking. As a matter of speaking, not physical evidence. But he's so there. We got sevens all around. I mean, he's born in a, his day as a seven. Now, let me tell you, seven and crime in a seven. People are going to pay. They might think they got away with it, but people are going to pay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have the missing piece of the puzzle. Yeah, husband. Top candidate for Idiot of the Year. And unfortunately, poor Ian took the brunt of it. Sorry, Ian. So, and he always knew his innocence. But I can tell you now, the husband was right there in the middle of the crime scene guaranteed. So please leave your comments. I want to hear what you have to say. And uh, let's bring justice to those that have been served bitter injustice. All right, stay safe. Take care. Look after yourself. See you soon. Bye for now.